Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm uh, Archana, your yoga and wellness trainer and health coach. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about heart diseases and how we can manage and mitigate heart diseases with simple lifestyle changes. Now heart diseases are on rise and uh, it is the number one cause of death globally and it is estimated that about 17.9 million death occurs uh, globally due to heart diseases. So what are these heart diseases? Are basically hypertension, high blood pressure, coronary art, um, artery diseases, uh, blocked blood vessels and so on um, are uh, heart diseases. Now what are the causes of heart diseases? Uh, there are a number of causes like diabetes, being obese, uh, overweight, stress. Stress is the very, very um, uh, major cause of um, heart diseases, inactivity uh, and so on are few causes of heart diseases. Now how we can manage? Now before that, I've, I've always uh, heard from people that um, uh, my blood pressure is normal uh, after taking medication. So they think that um, once you get this uh, heart diseases or uh, any heart problem, um, now they have to take the medicine lifelong and um, it is normal to um, have normal uh, blood, uh, blood pressure level after taking medicine but no you have to manage it um, or you need to have your normal uh, blood pressure levels uh, without taking medicines but it is important once you are diagnosed you uh, need to take medicine but you have to reduce the dependency on medicines by natural ways by adopting and changing making few changes in your life that are, these are like some lifestyle changes okay which are very easy which you can do it easily at home so i'm going to share with you five simple tips um, on what you can do how you can manage and mitigate um, these heart heart related problems now number one is that so um, for the heart diseases you uh, have to avoid the oily fatty food processed food packaged food um, and need to focus on having the balanced and wholesome diet okay um, like salt sugar uh, you need to uh, reduce the intake of um, all these things so if you need any further help in this you can contact um, um, expert nutritional, um, uh, nutritionist or dietitian to get more further help but just keep in mind that you need to have a, a balanced diet uh, reduce packaged fried fatty oily food number two is sleep so sleep is very very important if once like people who have disturbed sleep insomnia they are always um, you know they're uh, they're always irritated angry they are like um, the energy levels are very low so if you don't get enough sleep your immunity also drops and then that person is more prone to have heart diseases so it's very important to uh, work on um, your sleep and need to have a good quality of sleep now people who are who are stressed so that comes to my uh, next tip. So people who are stressed um, always of, often have the sleeping issues or insomnia. So third tip is to work on your stress levels because stress is the number of number one cause um, for heart diseases. Okay, people think that having normal stress is normal. Have uh, usual stress is normal, but no, you need to work on. You need to work and find the ways to reduce stress. You can adopt the things, uh, what you like to do, where you can bring your mind to um, calm. Uh, like adopt hobbies, uh, do exercise, stretching, meditation, mindfulness, whatever it helps you to bring your stress level down. You need to work on. Um, your stress level so uh, the person who has stress basically it puts a lot of pressure on your heart your heart has to pump the blood um, all the time and imagine if you are stressed uh, most of the time all the time during the day it has put a lot of pressure on your um, on your heart okay so work on your um, stress levels so that brings to my next point um, is get active so again 
um, sedentary lifestyle, not doing any activity, not uh, working out is again another cause which leads to weight, going, weight gain which leads um, uh, to uh, being obese and then these people are more prone to have heart diseases. So work on um, getting active, um, if you are working for a long time, you have a job of like you know for sitting, working long time, take breaks, do exercise, do any kind of exercise but yoga is best because yoga will work on your mind, body, um, your breath, your emotions. It's, it's, a, it's a way of life. So you can work on your physical, mental and emotional level. So get active. Yoga is best um, to work on your physical and mental level as well. Next tip is work on your, um, your weight. So again all the things are interrelated if you are stressed you eat if you uh, you do emotional eating a lot of people uh, do emotional eating they tend to eat more when they are stressed and that's how they put on weight and if you are not um, working out if, if you are in um, if you have very sedentary lifestyle um, that also you prone to uh, put on weight so work on your weight keep your um, weight like the ideal uh, weight level work on um, working on your balanced diet and getting active this will definitely help you because obesity leads to diabetes and diabetes and uh, these people are more prone to have um, hypertension heart diseases so these are simple tips which you can follow at home if you put your heart if, if you put if you are regular consistent you will definitely uh, manage your heart diseases, uh, your blood pressure level very well and then reduce dependency on the medicine gradually and eventually. So just to recap, have good diet, balanced diet, get enough sleep, very very important, work on your stress levels, get active, yoga is better, yoga is best um, and work on your weights uh, like if you are overweight or obese, work on reducing your weight. Okay, so just look good, feel good, just be relaxed, enjoy the life the way it is, just go with the flow. Um, nothing is permanent, so stress is not going to help you to move forward, but just being relaxed, being calm is going to help you to move forward. So I hope these tips are helpful. If you find these uh, tips helpful, please share with your friends, family, colleagues, uh, someone might get the help. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more tips and yoga which you can do it from home. So see you soon. Bye-bye.